I'm sure you're all familiar with the one girl, five cop situation at this point, but just in case you're not, I need to explain this to you because it's one of the silliest stories I've read in a long time. Basically, this female police officer down in the Laverne Precinct in Tennessee had sex with six of her co-workers on and off duty. And she was in a long-term marriage the whole time she was going hog wild with all the men in her precinct. And one of the goofiest parts of this story is when she brags about how big one of the police officer's ding-dongs was when she was giving him head in the police gym. So needless to say, <laughs> the weights weren't the only thing going up and down that day, baby. They were having sex on and off of police property. She had sexual relations with two people on police property, and then the rest of them were off of property at these ragers, these parties they were throwing, and they were also sexting each other. That's also a little tidbit there. So instead of protecting and serving, it seems like they were more focused on being unprotected and inserting into her. This lady just took fuck the police a bit too literally instead of figuratively, so she went into the job a bit misguided. But that's not where the madness comes to an end, because the entire time she was having sex with all of these officers, practically having a train ran on her by all of them, she was claiming that she was in an open relationship, to which she absolutely was not. Her husband had no clue this was going on. But this went on for about a year before a whistleblower came out, so someone self-reported after they probably had sex with her and just didn't lock it or she didn't lock their penis or whatever so they went and told capitol hill city hall something like that they ratted on them and that's how it all came to light and then she as well as four of the male police officers got fired this is the guy that got complimented by the way so he's got something special down there you know his zipper holds back the monster and you don't want to see it unleashed Salute, my friend. If you got a couple inches to give, I'll gladly take it. And this is the picture of Megan Hall that's been floating around social media. Just in case you've been seeing this spam posted everywhere and you're not really sure what it is, now you have an explanation. But now that you have the lore to all the butt-smacking, ball-flapping, sex a ruin that was going on down in the Laverne Precinct in Tennessee, I want to give you the updates to this situation because they are even wilder than the situation itself. So naturally, after this situation came out that she was married and having sex with all their co-workers copious amounts of memes were made this is personally my favorite the casting couch you've seen the picture you know the original you're just as dirty minded as me don't act like you aren't but also after this the husband came out and made a statement on this situation and he says that he has no plans to leave her so he's gonna stick with his wife even through all this i guess he really took that till death do us part seriously but come on, man. I'm not trying to, you know, tell the guy how to live his life or make fun of him in any way. But I think at a certain point, when you get cheated on six times, it's time to just hang it up, dude. <laughs> she slept with enough men at her precinct that she could have made a starting lineup in basketball with them and then have one to sub in. Like, this is insane, dude. If she, if she cheated on you six times, I don't think she cares about you. Future said it best. She's definitely for the streets. But now it's about to get insane, so hold on to your nutsacks because this update is wild. On today, January 26th, she was offered $10,000 to do two shows at a local strip club to where she lives. The strip club that offered her this deal like she was a number one pick in the draft, it's called Deja Vu in Nashville, and they offered it to her saying that she would get $5,000 per show and that they wanted her to do the shows on March 17th. But as of right now, I have no way of confirming or knowing if she took this deal or not or even if she's thinking about taking it. Personally though, I would take 10,000 bucks for two, two shows of like spinning on a pole maybe flashing a titty or two, slipping a little butthole out. But I just thought that update was pretty crazy that she gets fired for having sex with a bunch of her co-workers and then a strip club says, hey, we'll throw some money at you to do basically less than what you were doing at the police station for free. It sounds like a win-win for her, and honestly, the smart move would be for her to start up an OnlyFans. She would be raking in that dough for sure. Maybe do some, like, cop role plays on there, bring in the other officers, especially the one that she bragged about his penis. And they'll have a good business running, you know? But that's pretty much it for this story. I wasn't going to talk about it until this update came out. And that really sealed the deal. And I wanted to talk about it. It's just an absolutely insane situation. Oh my god, it's so insane I'm burping. I can't contain my ex excitement. But anyways, I'll catch you in the next one.